Pretoria the defense lawyer for two defendants who are accused of confessing to the murder of Senso Maiwa and designating Kelly Kumalo's home as the crime site asked the Pretoria High Court for a day to meet with the defendants. Acceptance of confessions A trial within a trial will be arranged to determine whether or not their confessions are admissible, according to Times Live. State's attorney George Bloy informed the court that musical killer was Sabia confessed and named the crime scene while Bangani Sandison Tansi made two confession statements. Saifo Ramaspiel, the defense attorney, argued that his clients had denied making any confessions, comments, or admissions. Tansi asserted that he was under pressure when he was forced to sign a statement. Attorneys for the state and the defense make their cases. In order to maximize efficiency, Beloye recommended a joint trial within a trial and stated his plan to submit evidence regarding the warning comments of the remaining defendants. Essay dissatisfied with legal maneuvers check out a few of the remarks below, said Vincent Samuto. These individuals have already been given substantial prison terms for other heinous crimes. They would have done it a long time ago if these confessions were accurate. I want everyone could have a visit from God, said Nfo Romano. I mean, this lawyer is lying, but whatever. If these individuals just volunteer to offer the state this evidence, I hope they get a few years in jail. But Kelly and her family deserve something. I don't know, just saying. Bailsam Mashafain said, Someone got hired to take the fall. Any Majajo wrote. Given as Wafawi who is deceiving who, Bambadzini continued, The statement of a witness who claims Kelly Kumalo refused to give Senso Maiwa's family his possessions. Splits Mzansi, the childhood friend of Senso Maiwa, Thakazisi Thwala, was quoted in another story as giving an eye-opening account of singer and socialite Kelly Kumalo. The fourth witness for the prosecution testified before the North Gauteng High Court in Pretoria that when Maiwa passed away, his then-girlfriend Kumalo refused to give his belongings to his family.